Hi, and welcome to this week's SharePoint Search Quick Tip. My name is Robert Pinnock, and today I want to look at troubleshooting managed metadata problems. <clears throat> Recently, I've been dealing with a couple of customers who've had problems with managed metadata and with both uh, Ontolica and standard SharePoint Search. And I want to go through a couple of re typical reasons why managed metadata will surface problems in SharePoint Search. So let me jump over here to my Ontolica environment and let you have a look. Uh, the two issues that we have is one, that titles don't appear properly, say for example PDF documents. The reason why a title wouldn't appear for a PDF document properly is that it's not the managed metadata or the properties that are in SharePoint for that specific document. Let's say you have a custom title assigned to this document. We don't have one on this document in, per se, but you can have all of this um, custom metadata assigned to the document, of course, in SharePoint. And sometimes this custom metadata in SharePoint is not picked up by the crawler. And then what happens is the document's title in the search is the file name of the document and that doesn't look terribly good if you've spent a lot of time putting your titles here. Um, I'll talk a little bit later about why, what causes that and how we can fix it. The other problem that we might have is that if we set refiners, specifically a refiner for uh, property in um, say for example on Talico or in our out-of-the-box SharePoint, that we get an error and I'll show you a little bit more detail of that problem here and then afterwards I'll explain the fix for the two er errors. So let's say we go into Ontolica and we find a uh, a property that we want to set. So I'll just do that. I'll find the Ontolica search tabs menu item and I'll find the all sites tab here and I'm going to make a refiner property for content type. So I'll add a proper property here. And I'll find my content type property. And I'll type in here, okay, this is my content type. I'm good at SharePoint, so I like to use content types. <clears throat> IDs cannot have spaces, so I'll just fix that. And I'll type in here, the name is going to be content type. Okay, that's fine. That's all I need to type in Ontolica in order to get the property back. And I'll hit OK. I'll go back to my search page. And I'll type in pill. And I get this, this crazy property here. Property, property doesn't exist or is used in a manner inconsistent with schema settings. This is an Ontolica property, but basically what it's telling us is the property is not what Ontolica expects to get back or what the values that are in that property are not what um, SharePoint or Ontolica expects to get back. So why, what causes this and how to fix it? So just to recap, the first one was bad PDF titles and the second one was this property inconsistent. Now, I'll go through the second one first and then the first one. This property inconsistent error is due with bad mappings in central administration for that property. And I'll show you what I mean. I think we, we've dealt with this before, but um, I'm going to show you again. I'll navigate to the service application and the search service application where I can manage my search manage metadata and I'll go to manage metadata properties here and I'll find my content type property which is an out-of-the-box SharePoint property. Now I can see the content type property that I have here is mapped to two crawled properties basic5 and OWS underscore content type and generally the OWS which is the prefix for SharePoint list items or properties in SharePoint is the one that I want to have appearing in that content type. But also basic5 appears here which is a physical property that the, that the crawler grabs. Now the issue that we have with this content type property and some other properties that we may have mapped or that are already mapped in SharePoint is that it holds this basic5 uh, values. 
and the values are set in this order to be populated into this property. So what that means is that if the content type property finds garbage in basic five or a empty field or nothing, it's going to populate that first before it populates it with whatever values in the OWS underscore content type. And that can often put noise in the content type property. Now what we also saw was that this is an out of the box property. I cannot change it. So that's a big problem. And what that basically mean, means is that for applying custom properties for refiners, I cannot use content type. I need to make my own content type one, and that's easy to do. Now if you see this for other properties, it's likely that whatever you're mapping doesn't have values in it, or you're mapping multiple properties that do not have the right values in it. I would stick to the OWSS, OWS ones, which come from the lists uh, properties, and uh, just use those. So for an example, which I often tell people, is just make a new property, call it C-type, map it to a content type, which is the SharePoint content type field, not this basic five, here it is. Map that, save it, and you've got a, a property that you can use. It's gonna return the content type you're looking for and actually work. So after a full crawl, when we go back here and we um, change the setting in Ontolica, and we'll go and do that. I did that setting at the top level in Ontolica search tabs, in the site collection level, sorry. I'll just change that here, and I will change the mapping here. Now the mapping is going to be C-type. Now, after, like I said, you have to do a full crawl or you're not gonna populate these. And after that's done, this content type property is gonna work for me. So if you have problems with those, that, um, that error, Go in and check your mappings and make sure you've done a full crawl and you've got a property that's mapped with the right value. Okay, so the other one, the title one, <clears throat> I don't actually have that problem on this site, but it's a problem that I, I well know. And the problem that you get that causes that particular problem to have these bad titles that we're not picking up the SharePoint problem property is that the crawler is actually not crawling the site that you've got as a SharePoint site. It's crawling it as a website. So if we could go here and we see, okay, these are our, this is our content source for our SharePoint size, and I've got this is set as a SharePoint site, and I've got all my sites listed here, and that's fine. I should expect that it's going to crawl the share the SharePoint properties, but if there's any problem with the crawler finding these sites and associating them with the SharePoint site, then it's not going to crawl them as a SharePoint site. It's going to revert to calling, crawling them as web pages. So let's say I call my site sp2010.surfray.com and, and then I want to crawl this site. So I've changed this value from the server name to this site. Now in order to crawl this site as a SharePoint site, the crawler needs to know that this is an alternative name for SP2010. I can't just type this in as a website from an external site and not let SharePoint know that this is a, a different name for the same site. Because if it doesn't know that, it's going to go in and try to call this as a website. It's not going to find those associated properties and then we're going to have a problem or, and we're not going to get those properties back as crawled properties. So it's okay if you do this. I would, as a basic rule, try to keep the server name here as the crawl name. And if you need to do some changes to the way that that's linked on the outside, use server name mappings. If you absolutely need to crawl those URLs, um, you, can, you need to go into the central administration and make an alternative access mapping for those values to this uh, external website. And you can do that here so that you can get that value here and then the SharePoint crawler can associate that value with the value of the server name and then associate those properties and then you'll get the properties back. Okay, so there's two quick things for our quick tip today about how to use managed metadata. Any problems, please uh, go to our website, 
send me an email, rcp at surfray.com, um, and uh, check out our other videos. Thanks very much for watching.